What are cooling systems in automobiles? A cooling system is designed to take excess heat away from an engine, thereby allowing it to function at the normal operating temperature. The combustion of fuels is a highly exothermic reaction, meaning that a large amount of heat energy is released when fuels are burnt. For instance, a petrol fire can be as hot as 1,500 degrees and can release 45 megajoules of energy per kilogram of petrol. This is enough to melt aluminum and cast iron, both of which are popular materials in the production of car engines. Types of cooling systems Based on the media that extract excess heat to direct it away from the engine, there are two types of cooling systems. 1. Air-cooled engines In air-cooled engines, the significantly cooler ambient air is directed around the walls of the cylinders to extract heat. Effective cooling can be achieved by increasing the surface area of the engine that is in contact with the air. This is facilitated by the inclusion of extended surfaces, called fins, around the barrel of the cylinder. Air-cooled engines are typically found in motorcycles and some old cars. 2. Liquid-cooled engines. Such engines have a dedicated cooling architecture in the form of cooling jackets, that are integrated with their structure. These jackets contain a coolant that absorbs heat and flows out of the engine to a heat exchanger. The heat exchanger, also known as the radiator, draws in cool ambient air by means of a fan to reduce the temperature of the hot coolant and recirculate it into the engine in a cycle. Water-cooled systems are ubiquitously found in all cars and in modern high-performance motorcycles too. Cooling systems in electric cars Cooling systems in electric cars are quite similar to those in the internal combustion engines discussed above. However, ongoing research has led us to believe that air cooling is not a very effective solution for the heat generated during the discharge of batteries. Liquid cooling in battery packs can be achieved by completely submerging them in non-conducting coolants, or surrounding them with cooling channels. However, as electric vehicles are in a nascent stage of development and variety, it is too early to comment on the complete nature of their cooling, which is bound to change as battery technology continues to advance.